What we're doing today, we are adding and subtracting polynomials. So you should hopefully know what a polynomial is by now from some earlier research. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add and subtract them. So the objectives at the end of this video, you should be able to determine the degree of a polynomial, write a polynomial in standard form, and add and subtract polynomials. So those are the three things that I want you to be able to do. Two of them you should hopefully be pretty darn close to. So, first thing, write this in standard form. So 15x minus 3x plus 3. So, what we're trying to do to get it in standard form, we're trying to write it from the highest degree to the smallest degree. So we have about three terms here. We've got 15x, negative x cubed, and positive 3. I box them up and I like to show the adding or subtracting sign in front of it because that will help me determine is it positive or is it negative. So the degree, the highest exponent. So what has the highest exponent? This 3 is. So the first thing we're going to write is negative x cubed. That's our first term. We're done with that term. Our next term this is where it gets a little tricky. This has a variable and this does not. So our next highest degree is actually the one with the variable. A constant number, so a number with no variable. This is something to keep in mind because this will come in handy later in, while we're working with polynomials. These with no variables are always our last part if it's in standard form. Constant number, always the last part. So our next part is this 15x. There's no negative sign in front of it, so it's a positive 15x. So plus 15x. We're done with that box. And lastly, we have our plus 3. It's not changing its spot, so plus 3. Negative x cubed plus 15x plus 3. This is our polynomial in standard form. And now the next big question is what is the degree? The, the number of the highest exponent. So our highest exponent is this 3. So what is the degree? Our degree is 3. If it's just a constant, we put a degree of 0. If it's just a variable, it's a degree of 1. So in this case, our degree is 3. So if you look at one more, again, box them off. Leave the adding or subtracting side in front of it. It'll help you determine if it is a positive or a negative number. So our highest degree is 4. So we have plus 4b, positive 4b to the fourth. Our next highest degree is the 3. It's positive plus 3b to the third. That's done. Now, constants always last, meaning this variable is going to be our next one. Plus b. Constant number without a variable is always last. Minus 2, it'll be minus 2. That's our polynomial in standard form. The degree is the highest exponent. Our biggest exponent is 4. So our degree is 4. Now we get into the tricky part, the adding and subtracting. I really don't think it's that tricky, but there is some thought that it takes. So how to add and subtract polynomials. This is something you're going to be using a lot. So I would write this down somewhere. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to write it in standard form. What we just practiced. We're going to make sure our polynomials are in standard form. Makes our life much, much easier. Then we're going to line up. A big thing to keep in mind, we need to fill in zeros if there's no number. So if we're writing it in standard form and they don't match up, we're going to write a zero there. That'll make more sense once you see it. But fill in zeros if there's no numbers. And the last thing we're going to do is add and subtract. This is going to feel a lot like when we solve linear systems by adding and subtracting, but it's going to be a lot simpler. So let's look at an example. Find the sum of 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 2x squared plus x cubed minus 1. So let's look at this. 
first we need to write them in standard form. So I'm going to write the first part in standard form. And lucky for us, if we look at them, it's already in standard form for us. So 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x goes from greatest to smallest right for us. We need to write the next one in standard form, but I'm going to kind of do the second step with it. Line them up. So 2x squared plus x cubed minus 1. Let's write them in order. So our first one's going to be the x cubed. x cubed positive 2x squared, so plus 2x squared. We don't have an x. This is where that 0 comes in. This is a constant. So we need to put a 0 here. Plus 0. We don't have an x. Plus 0x. There isn't an x. Then we have minus 1. Now, there's nothing on top of this. So what do we do? We're going to add a 0. Easy enough. If they don't line up, put a 0. Now, our last step, we've wrote them in standard form, we've lined them up, and we've filled in zeros. Our last thing we need to do is add and subtract. So we're adding, find the sum, adding 2x cubed plus 3x. When we add, we just look at the numbers in front of them. So there's a 2 here. If there's no number here, we can always put a 1. So 2 plus 1 would be 3x cubed. Now, let's look at the numbers in front. Negative 5 plus 2 would be negative 3x squared. Look at the numbers in front. There's going to be a 1 there, so we'd have plus 1 plus 0 is 1, would be 1x, or just x, 0 minus 1 plus negative 1 would be minus 1. So there is our polynomial after we add and subtract. So we add and subtract them, polynomials. It's already in standard form because we put them in standard form before. But if we added our two polynomials, 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 1. I'm going to show you one more example. I'm going to go through this one a little quicker. So first thing, write them in standard form. Lucky for us, it's already done. 5x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x. Now, write this in standard form. Lucky for us, it's already in standard form also. 4x squared is our first number, though. We don't have an x cubed. So what do I put in there? A zero. We need to have these line up. The cubes need to line up. The squareds need to line up. The x's need to line up. And the constants need to line up. So, 0x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 6. Nothing's on top of here, so I'm going to add a zero. We're looking for the sum. 5 plus 0 is 5, and keep my variable. Plus 4 plus 4, 8. Keep my variable, x squared. 3 plus 2, or 2 plus 3, is 5. Keep my variable. 0 plus negative 6 would be negative 6. We've now added our two polynomials. And we're left with 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 5x minus 6. And that's sums. Sums are easy. When it gets a little trickier is when we run into differences. So find the difference. We follow the same steps. But the big difference is this subtraction sign. There's two different ways to solve them. I'll show you both. And I would usually like you to do the second way. But the first way. Write them in standard form. 4n squared plus 5. 
Now, something we need to get in the habit for. What are we missing in here? Well, we're missing an N. I'm actually going to put zero N there because if you look over here, I'm going to have an N later. So I'm going to need that zero in there. Something to kind of look at. So plus zero N, plus five. Now I'll write my second one, negative 2n squared plus 2n minus 4. And we're looking for the difference. So we're taking 4 minus negative 2. Minus negative 2 would be a keep change change. And we'd have 6n squared. 0 minus positive 2 would be negative 2n. 4 minus negative 4 would be a keep change change, would give us 9. The tricky thing to remember is we are subtracting. Subtracting. We need to do the opposite. Can't add straight down. So, to make it easier on us, this is the second method. I would like you to write the first one the same as always. So, 4n squared plus 0n plus 5. What I need you to do, if we multiply everything by a negative or do the opposite of everything, we can just add them. So, I can add what's negative... 1 times negative 2n squared. Well, it'd be positive 2n squared. Negative 1 times positive 2n would be minus 2n. Negative 1 times minus 4 would be a positive 4. If I do that first, I then can add straight down. 4 plus 2 is 6n squared. 0 minus 2 plus negative 2 would be minus 2n. 5 plus 4 is 9. And we get the same thing. So what I did here was I multiplied negative 1 to everything. Ran out of room. But multiply negative 1 to everything. So negative 1 times this times this, and times that. And I'll show you one more example of that. Find the difference. I'm only going to do it the one way, the multiplying way. So write the first one in standard form. 4y squared minus 7y. I'm missing my constant, so I'm just going to put plus 0. Now, I want to add them, even though we're subtracting. I'm going to multiply negative 1 times everything. So, negative 1 times positive 5 would be negative 5y squared. Negative 1 times positive 4y would be negative 4y. And negative 1 times negative 9 would be positive 9. And now it's just an easy addition problem. 4 plus negative 5 would be negative 1y squared. Negative 7 plus negative 4 is negative 11y. 0 plus 9 would be plus 9. And that would be our polynomial, the difference. Subtracting our polynomials, the difference between the two polynomials. Gives us negative 1y squared. Minus 11y plus 9. So, that's actually the big part of the chapter. Just basically put writing in standard form, adding and subtracting polynomials, and being able to find the degree. So if you have any problems on anything, make sure to rewatch it, or continue on to your practice problems.